working down at the ranch once again. I think we're on about day five of working here. You can hear the noise in the background of the generator. All the garage doors have gone into the barn and David and Steve and Matt right now are working on the trim and I just made them lunch. So right now we're pushing the first uh, door that we installed uh, today on the barn. Done. Hard work. Well done. They're not short though. Comes our beautiful new door. Yay! Pretty exciting, I have to say. We're actually paying a penalty for changing our door, uh, type of door that we installed. The original uh, barn was designed for sliding doors and uh, when we looked at that, Beth talked to one of the door companies and they said they're not very secure, they're not waterproof and they warp and they're a lot of maintenance. So we changed the whole barn to overhead industrial um, garage doors and that meant uh, changing how the doors sit and framing out for 10 foot wide openings. Two of them are 14 feet tall and three of them are 10 feet tall. Um, that seemed like a really easy thing, was not easy. And we've spent two days in probably 100 degree temperatures struggling. Uh, we finally got a good system and it's working. And um, we're pretty excited, the doors look awesome. Go and come right along, slowly but meticulously, yeah. and it's hot. No major injuries. That's true. No, no mechanical breakdown. That's true. Just a little heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you to Beth for keeping us supplied, fed, watered, and tooled up. Thank you to Matt for his, uh, just he just was a gopher and hard work. Thank you to my brother-in-law, Steve Oak. Um, his construction skills have been a godsend, and we could not have done a lot of this problem solving without his help.